For years, I've been playing DayZ, and over time, it has taught me to be more tactical. The slower paced and tactical gameplay I had to apply last week when I tried Frostline for the very first time, where the vanilla environment required me to rethink my combat strategies. Today's partner from Arena Breakout has invited me to apply those tactical skills to their extraction shooter and we will see if I can survive in another FPS game, as over the past few days I have been progressing and unlocking new maps and weapons. I personally haven't played much of extraction shooter games before so I'm curious to see how well I will perform. Let's see if my daisy skills can be used in a new game. If you want to try Arena Breakout yourself, which you can by using my link in the description or the pinned comment, which is all for free, and I'll see you there. The first match when I logged in, I was joined by a few other new players and together we got to explore the map named The Farm. I had to do a few runs on this map as it was relatively a decent sized map and the gunplay was something I had to get used to. If you think Daisy is slow, well, prepare yourself for Arena Breakout because it requires you to really think twice before you move into an area. Level 10, so that was a player. <laughs> what I wasn't used to is the NPCs that are scattered around on those maps as well. At first it was quite difficult to distinguish the AI versus the players, but eventually you get a better understanding of it. It's got to be a player or something. What came as a fun surprise is when I reached level 5. I was able to play as an AI myself. Some of you might know this as doing a scav run where you join the AI team with a randomized and minimal loadout. The goal is to hopefully take out another player and extract with their valuable loot while you don't risk losing your gear. This is actually quite fun but also extremely difficult.
something I really miss in DayZ is the gun customization, which I was able to do in Arena Breakout. I went for the classic Mosin and gave him some nice upgrades. Let's see if the Mosin is as powerful in Arena as in DayZ. Okay, here we go. Where are we? We are there. Okay. The villa it is. Where do you want to go to? Okay, they want to go to the bridge. We've got a Mosin this time. We are familiar with the Mosin in Day Z and using this bad boy today with a nice PU scope. I've looted this in one of the previous games, so um, I'm going to see how effective it is. Looks like I'm. Okay, whoa. Wasn't there like a weapon scrape here? Uh, it's right here. Enemy, enemy, enemy. Okay, coming over. Another one dead behind the car. Nice, okay. Well, this was quite a successful run. I managed to take out a player and got a decent amount of loot from him. After a few hours, I slowly progressed and leveled up, where I unlocked new maps, gear, and vendors. What I noticed is that this game is quite beginner friendly compared to Tarkov, where I completely lost my direction and where to extract when I played it for the very first time. This is quite easily pointed out in a random breakout that saved me a lot of time and frustration. The real adrenaline rush started that you have also in Daisy when you get into a firefight was when I joined the map Armory, which is a three layer close ranged map. map. I'll take you guys for an epic run. Line them up.
Yeah, there's two dudes above me. Fucking hell, my eardrums. Ooh, that's a good gun. How do I escape out of here, man? You have to go one more floor up? Just scary, man. Not gonna lie. Get a lot of grenades. I mean, how big is this Uzi? I can carry that. He's camping right up here somewhere, son of a bitch. It's scary, man.
control room. The sluice opens three minutes into the match. Find the switch tape to have control area. Control room? Okay, I guess we gotta go there. I don't know this map one bit. Looks like we got looted here. Where am I? The lounge. Right. Gotta go to the control room. Gonna make it out of here alive. Is that above or beneath? Feels like that's beneath me. Get the hell out of here. Two dudes. Yeah, now I killed three guys. Let's go. That's pretty good. I enjoyed that. Arena Breakout is definitely worth it if you do enjoy a good adrenaline filled action packed shooter that is beginner friendly and easy to adapt to. The maps aren't that hard to get a feeling for, and the gunplay feels good. I didn't experience any lag, which was nice for a change, and all that for a free to play game. I'd like to thank them kindly for sponsoring this video, and if you guys enjoy me playing this game and would like to see more, well, let me know down in the comments. I appreciate your feedback and support, and thank you for watching this video, and I'll see you in the wasteland. Batch up. Grenade swimmers, crazy. Oh, shut up. That's crazy. He headshot at me? Oh, GG's. Let's see the kill cam. How'd that happen? I'm curious. That's a good shot, though. Uh, there were multiple of them. Uh, that was a three man I was fighting here. Let's see if he can spot me right there. Then he saw me. I moved. Yeah. Crazy. Alright, GG.